Hello everybody, my name is Idil and you're watching Idil's Fish Mania. So we are back here once again in a small creek somewhere in Tanjung Malim. Uh, this creek, uh, as to my knowledge, there's no one that comes here. It's in the middle of the uh, rubber plantation. So we are here looking for Barbados Bainonatus and by Barbados Latris Riga. The twin spotted barb and the spanner barb for Dr. KC Ng which has requested uh, Mr. Patrick, a friend of mine, Mr. Patrick uh, to, to obtain some specimens for DNA testing so that's our mission for today, we're looking for uh, the twin spotted bulb and the spanner bulb so we'll head out and see what we can get Okay, right here, Dr. Elias has already got the first Barbados Bainonatus. Oh, this is the second Barbados Bainonatus. Uh, the Malay call this Tebal Sisi. Uh, English name is uh, Twin Spotted Bark. It's a type of bark. This is better put next. A uh, small better put next. Uh, Microbranchium shrimp. Uh, what else? That's it. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah this is the, the species we are looking for. But we're looking for bigger specimens around 3 to 4 inches. <laughs> Uh, the adult specimens, we don't, we don't want to get uh, young specimens like this, so we're going to release. Okay, here's, here's another one. Uh, here's another Barbados Bangsi, about uh, Barbados Bainonatus. See the etymology of the name Barbados refers to the barb uh, on the lips. There's small like whiskers appendage on the on the mouth. That's called the barb. And then by nonatus, by meaning two. Nonatus means marking. Usually you get two markings, a spot at the top there, uh, just below the dorsal fin, and a spot uh, just behind the caudal fin. So this is a good size specimen. We're gonna take this one for uh, Dr. Kishi. Okay. Oh, this is this is Isomus metallicus. Uh, Malay call this luang janggut. We usually have long whiskers, a long barbel going down the side. And this is so much metallic this is not what we are after. Huh? Right gang, look at all this freshwater prawn. These are uh, prawns from the genus Macrobranchium. You can tell by the large pincers they have. And then this one guppy here. This is Posilia reticulata and uh, this is not native to Malaysia. Yeah. So this is this is a red one. Look at that color. This is a red one. On oh, the others are just uh, almost translucent color. This one red one here. And this is a female because I can see it carrying eggs. <laughs> All right. We'll carry on. All right. Look what I found. A small froglet. It uh, looks like a tree frog, uh, maybe from the family Rani Day, but I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not an expert on frogs, but look at that. Look at that. Really small. Really cute. Uh, I I didn't find this fella. Got on the phone. Oh, okay, it's gone. 
plastik. Dikit plastik. Oke, oke, ini Oh, there you go. Asik. I will release, release this fellow on this phone. You can get on this phone if you want to. No, you don't want to. You want to see on me? Gone. Oops. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. All right. I'll continue on our trip. Okay, we got Rasbora here. This is Rasbora vulgaris. Uh, it's a species that is widespread all over Malaysia. Uh, they share the same habitat with um, Barbados Bionatus. So uh, where you find Barbados Bionatus, you usually find uh, Rasbora vulgaris. This is also not popular in, in the aquarium trade because of the lack of colors. But there are some people who collect Rasboras, they, they would like to have this species. Uh, so I don't think you can find this in your local uh, fish store. Okay. Look at this! A bunch of Barbados Bionatus and Rasbora vulgaris. All of this is caught at this small area right here. Uh, they usually swim in school in the shoal. So if you uh, you put a net at the, do at the bottom of the river downstream, then you uh, disturb the top bit, all the fish will swim down. See, see, look at that. Look at that. There, there, there. All right. So all the, the fish will swim down into the net, and then there, we got some more. Oh, this is. There it is. Yes, Bora vulgaris. So I think we have enough specimens of uh, Barbados Bionatus for Dr. Chesi Ng. Uh, so we're gonna stop taking any fish anymore. But we're still gonna survey this this river, see what we can find. Okay. 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 Tune. Look at all that. Those are just a bunch of all of that. Oh, there's this one uh, spinner bot. If you can see this one spinner bot there. Alright, I lost it. So right here, uh, majority of uh, that, that, that's the spinner bot. Okay. So the majority of here is uh, Barbados Bionatus and Rosbora vulgaris. I saw one there. The, the, that one. That is uh, Barbados Latris Riga. That is the specimen that we did not have yet. So let's see if I can get a better footage of it. I cannot see the reflection of the water. That's the reflection of the water. Oh, where is it? Oh, there, there, that's two. See the one with the stripe. I I cannot find it. Where is it? And the one with the strike. And uh, oh, there, there, that's one. There, there it is. There it is. That is the uh, spanner bob or Barbados latris striga. But that specimen is small, so it's not suitable for the sampling. We need to find a bigger specimen. Uh, looking at this river, it looks like uh, there's two small stream uh, coming into one stream right there I don't know which way should we go that way looks thick it looks thick so I don't think I'm gonna go that way I don't know I don't want to go through all that bush we're gonna go this way okay let's go all right gang we stumble across this area look at that look at all of that fish Let's see if we can zoom in. Let's see. There's a whole bunch of... I don't know. Uh, most of them looks like... Uh, Resbora vulgaris and Barbados Bionatus. I don't see any T-bobs here. There's no B. Lateris Triga. Look at all that. Coming this way. 
the the sting underneath the fallen logs so this is a pristine place you can tell there's no one uh, nobody comes here to catch fish or anything so if there's any place that is undisturbed like this this is what you get this is what will happen so most of the fish uh, most of the river around are heavily fish polluted uh, some people will fish uh, those rivers illegal way or oh, there's, there's one big there's one big bionatus there okay so some people will will do illegal fishing uh, such as the use of dynamite, the use of poison and electricity. Uh, that is one of the reasons why there are a lot of uh, fish, a lot of rivers that we call them dead river. Dead river means that the fish has no fish, uh, that the river has no fish. All the fish are gone or the fish are dead. Uh, they aren't able to reproduce because there's too heavily fished by uh, local people. So this is just one example of what can happen if you take care of a, of a river. Uh, it's okay if you want to catch some fish, but uh, do it in a sustainable manner. So you just take what you need and then you let the rest go. Don't take too much. Don't take too many females. Because the female are the ones who are going to reproduce and add more population to the area see oh, look at all that it's just full of fish so yeah we're, we're not going to catch any fish here we just want want to survey this area we just want to see what uh, uh, the geographical uh, structure of this place uh, how far we can go upstream I don't know we just keep exploring we are just a few meters upstream from the last spot. Look at what I got. Look at the size of this. This is uh, Rasbora vulgaris. Some of the biggest specimens that I've ever seen. Quite big. Usually you'll find them around that, just that big. Nearly half the size. Right now. Look at that. <laughs> really, really big specimen. So there it is. Okay. Alright gang, we are at our last spot for today. We are further upstream. Uh, we came across a pool full of uh, Barbados Binonatus and look what we got. And look at the size. Look at that. This one, this one. That's a good size. Around 4 inch, maybe 5. This is 4 inch. Uh, so we are, we released the one we caught earlier because uh, the bigger the fish the better so we, we released the the smaller one that we caught and now we're gonna take uh, two of the biggest one here for Dr. Casey Ng. So uh, to recap we got a lot of fish in the small river we've, we've seen what happened to a river that has no one uh, there's no fishing pressure on it there's a lot of fish here uh, this is a place somewhere in Tanjung Malim, inside uh, the rubber plantation. Alright gang, uh, I think that's all the time we have today for uh, today's expedition. So uh, to recap, uh, we came to a place uh, where no one comes. So most people don't know this place exists because it's somewhere inside the rubber plantation. Only the workers here only knows this place. Uh, so we came looking for Barbados Binonatus and Barbados Latristiga. Uh, we managed to finish one half of the mission. So right here, uh, this is Mr. Patrick. We, are, we got four specimens of uh, Barbados Binonatus. Uh, I'm not sure the gender, I don't know if it's male or female because uh, they look the same. So this specimen will be sent to Dr. Casey Ng for DNA testing. So uh, maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll head out again looking for uh, Barbados Latrisiga, the spanner bob. We found a few spanner bobs here, but they're small, not the size that we need. We need a bigger size, we need a bigger specimen. So uh, we didn't catch uh, the smaller ones. So all the other fish were released, we only took four. 
for uh, the research okay uh, so that's it for today i'll see you again next time in ideal fish mania bye bye